So what we're going to do now, we're just going to come in and put in the final little parts um, and get this together ready for the paint and then we're going to give it a good clean up, okay, ready for the painting. So we'll come in with our sanding sticks and get rid of some of these seam lines. We'll talk about how we just clean up your model ready for painting. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, this is where the, the spendable one is really, really helpful. Obviously, if you're using a, a, a flat stick, um, then all you're doing is sanding it flat. If you're using something that's a little bit more bendable, then obviously you're going to sand it into a curve so it just conforms to the fuse launch much better than using a flat sander. So we're just going to sand around this. Now what will happen here is, you probably won't be able to see, but um, if I just bring it in a bit closer, so what you start to see here is actually we're sanding away some of the panel lines that were part of the model. Now normally what I'd come in and do is I'd rescribe these um, panel lines using a scriber. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about it in a moment but um, we probably just we won't do the rescribing because it's one of those things that if you're just starting out you probably won't have the tools or the bits to do it um, but I'll, I'll just quickly show you how we do it on this model. Okay, so what I've done here, I can, there's a quite a big lip here. So if I carry on sanding here, it's going to, it's going to uh, sand away quite a lot of the detail and the panel lines. So uh, what I should have done here is when I was putting the, the fuselage halves together is just make sure you try to line them up the best you can because once you've left it overnight, it's glued dry. Very difficult to deal with that. So um, although it's come together really nicely, we just got to deal with this lip here. Um, that's created from not just aligning the halves properly. So I'm going to come in with a with a rougher um, a grit and just take a lot of this plastic away, and then come in with a finer sand, a slightly finer. Then come in even finer still with a sanding sponge, and then we'll come in and polish it up with a, a polisher. Okay, so we still have a bit of a lip, so we're going to have to come in there a bit more. Do the process again. I apologise in the, in the previous video for getting my head in the way. Um, one of those things that you don't realise you do until you edit the video. And so, uh, and as this is my first set of YouTube videos, um, obviously I'm going to learn from my mistakes and hopefully next time. Um, keep that, keep my, my nice grey hair out of the way. So I'm sure you'd rather see the modelling than, you know, my, my nice grey Harrison Ford-esque hair. Let's see if we can focus this in. Now what we've done then is we've come in and we've, we've got, we've, we've, is we've lost all of that detail. Um, if I keep moving my finger, it, does, it goes out of focus. That's one thing I learned. So what we've done, we've lost all of that detail that... Um, we've just sanded off by getting rid of that lip. So normally what I do now is I'd come in with a with a scriber, which we'll talk about later, and rescribe some of the panel lines that we've lost. Okay, but we're gonna carry on just um, cleaning this fella up. It might take a little while. We're gonna come and clean the whole thing up. Okay, the key to a good model is really um, taking care of all of all these parts by really taking some time to to just really get you know clean up your parts, just make it look nice and smooth, and just take your time and and have a bit of patience. You know, in in the old days, what I'd have done, I'd have glued it together, and I wouldn't have even bothered about that. I'd have just painted it, and we'd have had all of this. But you know, if you want to have a nice model that you can, that you're quite happy with, then you want to get rid of these lines. Okay, 
I'm using quite a circular motion. Um, if you just go in one direction, I sometimes just use it to some day you want to get a small part off. But when I'm running, I'm going along a whole line of the fuselage here, I'm going in nice circular motion and then it avoids getting anything just, you know, sanded away in one area, making a flat spot or something like that. If you stay in one area too long, then you're going to create a flat spot and, and deform the shape of the model. So I just keep moving it around. It's good just to to angle it in the light to just see where where you need to go. Um, it's not perfect. So we just come in and just a little bit more. So coming in with the again with the with the, the rougher grit. So these are flooring models. This is the blue sander. So there's a medium grit and a light grit on here. So we come in with a with a medium grit and then we go over with the light the lighter grit. And I'll come in with my sanding sponge, which is a really fine grit. And then finally, you can come in with a, almost like a polisher to polish up the plastic. Okay. Right, that's not too bad. I'm relatively happy with that. Um, if this was uh, one of my proper builds, I would really go to town and get in that perfect. I think that little bobble's supposed to be there, so better be careful that we don't take that off. If in doubt, look at some photos of the real aircraft. That's the beauty of YouTube and, and the beauty of Google. Um, you can just look up any aircraft and find loads of reference material to help you with your build. Okay, pretty happy with that. Right, let's go look down the wings as well. So we'll just come down those wings. Just stop. Come down with a medium grip. Take off the seam line of that leading edge. Not looking too bad then, so we'll just um, tidy up these little bits here. There's some bit of flash in here. Too small to get a sander stick in. Could use a file. Just want to tidy those up. Okay, let's get some of these other bits on then. Really doesn't take long to bite at all. Just check your alignment, make sure it's all nice, it's all good. What I like to do is look, when I come to this sort of stage where I'm just putting the last bits on, is come back and look through the instructions to see if I've missed anything out. Sometimes when I look, go looking through the instructions, I might look through and, and just get a highlighter and just, high, just cross off the thick bits that I know I've done. Just to check to see if I've not missed anything out. And so I'll just go through and so and I'll put a circle around bits maybe that I that I've still got to do. We've done these, but we need to add this part. I need uh, I need to add these.
very small parts and my fingers really difficult to keep hold of these so very difficult to get cleaned up sometimes if possible I get these put you know glue them up glue them on and then maybe clean them up while they're still on but I've managed to get that cleaned up so this part is going to go where's this part going so this is three so it's going to go this side So I've got quite a lot of pooling of glue in here. Really doesn't matter as long as you just don't touch it, let it evaporate. It'll be absolutely fine. That's the joy of this glue. It just, you know, as long as you don't touch it, just leave it alone. It'll be fine. So, like I showed you earlier, but I think I've got my head right in the way. It's often quite good here. Bit of bit of blue tack, bit of white tack. Put your part down onto it. That gives it a bit of support so that when we come in. We can just cut exactly where we need to. So I'm just going to cut into here. That leaves the part left in the, the in the white tank, the blue tank, and so we can just take our little part out, all nice and tidy. Um, and this part, I believe, now there's a little section here where you where you stick it. Before I do that, I'm just going to clean up around the area because once it's on, you're not going to be able to do that. So I'm going to come in here. Give this a bit of a tidy up. Now, here I'm looking, licking my thumb to get the dust off, but it also works well with the with the um, with the sand stick, and also leaves some of the dirt to go in here, so it shows up some of these panel lines. So that's quite nice. Tidy that up. Okay, and then we'll right with this case. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a blob of glue exactly where I want it to go. I'm going to take my tweezers, just lay the part of my finger here. Get it to the point where I can just turn it around, and then just very carefully. Stick that in place. And then just to make sure, I'm just going to put a little blob of glue around it. Okay. Now these are the parts often get knocked off, so you've got to be careful now. This is the point where you need to be a bit more careful while you're handling your model. So here's where your missiles are going to go, but we're going to we're going to stick those on once it's all painted. Okay, so getting rid of the fashion again I've got my head in the way sometimes I just use the edge of the blade just to scrape along the where where the molding the flash from the molding where the two halves of the mold come together it just leaves sometimes leaves a bit of a flash especially on some of these cheaper models um, which you just might want to get rid of by just scraping your blade down the edge that's nice and tidy now so this part is going to go and cover up all of that top section One thing I'm really not very good at is keeping my bench tidy. Um, you probably can't see much of my bench, um, but it tends to get in a little bit of a mess. So it's really good to have a bit of a tidy up every now and again. We'll just...
So at this point, when you're attaching the cockpit and the clear parts, what some people do, they might use a weight glue like one of these um, because uh, your Tamiya Extra Fin will damage your clear parts and cloud it over if you make a mistake. I'm just going to use the Tamiya Extra Fin. I, often, I sometimes do use it um, unless I just want to be really careful with the cockpit. So I'm just going to run. And this is where you need to be a bit more careful because you don't want it running onto the actual clear part because it will cloud it over. But I'm just going to push that into there. And you can see it with the clear part just going across, by capillary action, just going everywhere. Don't want too much on the brush. So you can see it running straight through. Now I'm just going to push that into place a bit better. It's nearly a good fit. What's just going to need is a little bit off this front edge here so that it fits on nicely. Now, as you can see, all that detail that I, I we painted in there, it's pretty much all covered up. It was a bit of a waste of time. You can't really see much. It gives it an impression of the pilot. Um, let me just see if I can focus this in. So, um, I don't know how good this camera is at close range, but you know, it's pretty much um, all closed up. You might want to hold it for a little while just to let it set maybe for a few minutes so I'll come back in a minute when it's all set. Okay so looking for the instructions what I basically the only thing that I need to do now is I need to add the missiles to this section here and I need to add the this long part here that goes on to the front which I'm going to do right at the very end. I'm going to paint that and add that on as the last thing because that's always one of the things that you're just going to break off uh, while you're painting it. So we are ready now, we're ready to get this painted. So I'm just going to tidy up and then we'll be back.